everyone today we will be discussing about pumping lemma for cfg for more clarity on pumping lemma i suggest that you scroll and check out the previous video for pumping lemma for regular languages and then come back to this since pumping lemma is the explained in detail in that okay so now this is the statement for pumping lemma i consider a particular language as a context free language then in that case there will be a constant n which will be the pumping length such that i have the a particular string z belonging to l and the length of the string has to be more than n i divide the string z is equal to u v w x y it gets divided into five parts subject to the conditions the length of v w and x has to be less than n v and x can are not to be null and v and x if they are pumped several times the resulting string should also belong to l that is it should also belong to a context free language so let us consider an example to prove that l is equal to a par n b par n c par n does not belong to cfl I take a word, let the word be a par n, b par n, c par n, such that z belongs to L. That is, uh, I initially assume that the language is a CFL language and the word belongs to the language. I divide the string into three parts such that a and a. Now, this string can be, of course, divided in various ways. So here I'm dividing A's into U and V, B's into W, X and a part of Z and then C. So I get U as some A power P, V as some A power Q, W as some B power R, X as B power S, Y is equal to some B power T and C power N. Now in case if I is 0, that means I do not... Uh, I do not pump V and X at all. It will lead to number of A's not being equal to number of B's and not being equal to number of C's. If I is equal to 2, then in that case, the number of A's and number of B's will go more. And the language will not belong to CFL. I will not get a result like A par and B par and C par and. So our assumption that the language belongs to CFL is not true. Hence, it is context sensitive language and it is not a context free language. Thank you.